Workshop, where you get expertise from the air suspension specialists, keeping you on the road and in top condition for over 70 years. Today, we'll be demonstrating the installation of our Load Lifter 5000 kit on a 2022 Toyota Tundra. Installation may take up to three hours to complete using common mechanics tools. Remember, this overview doesn't replace your installation guide. Grab yours out of the box and let's get started. We'll start by assembling the air springs. Install the air fitting into the air spring. Thread on finger tight, then finish tightening the fitting another one and a half turns. Place a roll plate on top of the air spring. Place two one inch carriage bolts into the upper spring plate then screw the plate to the air spring with two button head screws. Torque to spec. The other air spring assembles the same way, but mirrored. Flip the air spring assembly over and place the roll plate on the air spring. Then put the carriage bolts through the lower bracket. Place the lower bracket assembly onto the air spring assembly and secure it with two button head screws. Torque to spec. Repeat these steps for the other side. For filming purposes, we're using a drive-on vehicle hoist. Lift the vehicle and support the frame with safety stands. Drop the axle down low enough to later set the air springs into position between the frame and axle. Use a ratchet or a wrench to remove the factory jounce bumpers from both sides of the vehicle. Use a small tool to pry off the two plastic covers, removing one from each side. On the right side, you'll also have to remove a module. After removing the bolts with a socket or wrench, tuck the module out of the way. Attach the upper frame brackets to the frame, one on each side, using your M8 button head cap screws. Using the 5mm hex tool, thread the screws through the slotted holes in the bracket and then into the frame holes. These are the same holes used for the jounce bumper that was just removed. Do not tighten the hardware down. Make sure the brackets can slide front to back slightly for the next step. The upper brace is needed to make sure the frame plate is aligned. Place the upper brace on top of the frame plate. Move them around slightly until you get the frame hole aligned and the brace holes aligned with the upper frame holes. Once they are aligned, tighten the two screws down with a 5mm hex tool. Remove the upper brace. Remove the bolts that hold the emergency brake cables to the axle. There's one on each side. The lower bracket will sit directly on the axle. Once each assembly is in place, thread two serrated nuts onto the two short carriage bolts, but leave them loose at this time. Install an M8 flanged bolt through the upper brace into the frame and torque to spec. Torque the two serrated nuts to spec. Install the remaining short carriage bolts and serrated flange nuts. The assembly should appear as seen here. Using one of the previously removed module bolts along with a washer and lock nut, attach the module to the upper brace and torque to spec. To complete the lower mounting, slip the lower clamp bar over the long carriage bolts. Install a flat washer and nylon lock nut onto each of the lower carriage bolts. Make sure to tighten the nuts down evenly so that the clamp can be level. Be sure to leave adequate clearance between the carriage bolts and the brake lines. Remove the OEM brake line clips on the axle and flip them around or push the line towards the axle to bend it out of the way. The brake lines should not touch the bolts. Using the OEM bolt that was removed from the brake cable bracket, along with a washer and lock nut, attach the brake cable bracket to the tab on the lower bracket. The nylon air lines are routed from the air springs to Schrader valves. Begin by choosing locations for the Schrader valves and drill a 5 16 inch 8 mm hole if necessary. Make clean square cuts with a razor blade or hose cutter. Do not use scissors or wire cutters.
Use zip ties to secure the airline to fixed points along the chassis. Do not pinch or kink the airline. That does it. Remember, you can find more information about all of our products at airliftcompany.com and our knowledgeable customer service team is always just a phone call away. Thanks for joining us in the Airlift Workshop.